Hello, welcome to my house and welcome to my channel. I'm Laura Cepeda and remember that we were here, right? This is the second part of this everyday bag that I show you in the last video. If you haven't watched the first part, well, here in the description box below, I will share the link. And well, remember that before we start, it's important that you subscribe. So we were here, okay? So we were in the one, two, three, four, five, sixth row, right? So now we were about to crochet apart. Now we are going to divide and we are going to make this piece and then the second piece here. We are going to crochet from here to this V and then we are going to go we are going to go sorry to the other side and here we are going to increase some stitches but i will show you how so look i did get ahead and this is what we are about to make in the other side too as you could see here we close this side like this and we reduce a little bit and this is what we are going to make right here i will show you how but now you have an idea right well here we are in the exact half right so we are here this is uh, the first mesh stitch right because here we have the corner there here we have the v so here is the first mesh square so here's where we are going to start we are going to insert the hook and take one thread make a knot right there well so here let's insert the hook okay take one stitch and then without making any chain we will turn over and then we will insert the hook right before the first uh, shell you see so right there in that space we are going to make three double crochet all of them together then turn over and right in the center of the shell again without making any chain before we are going to make three double crochet two chains and then three double crochet so we are going to make the shell that we uh, used to make in this part right so two segments together then in the next space without making any chain again right there three double crochet all of them together in the same space then again without making any chain we will go to the next space and make a single crochet and as you could see we made the same in the other side too so the segment the corner and the segment two and the single crochet like we made in the other side where we made the knot right so then we are going to slip one until this space well then turn around and we are going to okay insert the hook right before the shell and right there without making any chain we are going to make three double crochet together and then right here we are going to repeat and continue with the series right so here we are going to make it a shell so three double crochet two chains and then three double crochet all of them in the same space and we are going to turn over and then in the next space three double crochet okay so we are going to repeat what we made in the other side and then we will have something like this and remember that we slip here right so we are going to make the same and skip this space and insert the hook where is the other corner okay so right here where is this mesh stitch we are going to make a single crochet then we are going to slip to start the next row right here where is this space the next space we will turn around and like this is how we are going to reduce spaces you see so now from here without making any chain we will go to the next space and make right there a segment of double crochet so three double crochet then the shell and three double crochet and this is where we will finish and we will slip until here and then we will turn around and continue and we are going to repeat these steps until we arrive to the corners okay to the highest corners and we are going to repeat the same in the other side too so we are going to repeat until we arrive here too and just making these three steps the three double crochet the shell and the three double crochet well with this wide 
a paper you can tell more we have one two three four and five rows and well and we continue reducing each side okay until we arrive to the highest uh, corners and then well from there uh, we are going to repeat the same in the other side too okay also we are going to close that space remember that I did get ahead and I show you first so this is the result that we have so far well now we are going to repeat almost all the steps in these sides okay so we are going to start from here and then we will sleep here one space then we will crochet and then we will go all around and then we will sleep here and we are going to repeat but here we are going to increase instead of reduce but don't worry I will show you how and then after this we are going to make the strap of the back so that's why we have to make this well so this is where we made and this is where we will start right here so here we are going to take one thread and with our hook well, we will start right here, but remember that what we made in this side, we are going to repeat it in the other side too. So here is where we will start. And remember that now we are not making any chain between segments. So here we will make the first single crochet, I mean the knot. So right away we are going to make the three double crochet in that space. Then without making any chain, we will go to the next space and make the three double crochet and remember that we are closing okay so again here the three double crochet and like this until we arrive where is the shell so we are going to make three double crochet and well the next one is the shell so here three double crochet then two chains and then here again in the same space three double crochet so well here is the shell now here we have the next shell you see so we will make one segment here let me show you one se segment here then one more here and see you in the shell of this side for now we are going to make the uh, segments and this will be the wide of our um, strap okay so without making any chain between just we will make one inside this space one segment inside here so three double crochet then in the next space again three double crochet so here we have arrived where is the other shell you see and here we are going to make shell over shell so three double crochet then two chains and again three double crochet well after this shell we are going to continue like we were making in the other side remember so we will continue making segments inside each space and see you here to remind you what we are going to make remember that we made it in the other side but we'll see you there look this is where we started right then here I increased I continue making segments and then I crochet shell over shell then to go to the other side I crochet three segments then I crochet shell over shell and then I continue making segments and here we are and here we are supposed to make what we made when we started remember so here we are going to increase so here we are going to make three double crochet I'm using this white paper so you can tell better how it is so here three double crochet and then we are going to slip until the other space you see we are going to slip one and then we will continue slipping until the next space and then here we will turn around we will crochet in this space and the segment that we made here is the one that we are going to increase 
So here we are going to make three double crochet together. As you could see I didn't make any chain right away. I made this segment and remember that this is where I slip, right? So then in the next space I will continue with the stitch. I will continue making segments and here where is the shell I will crochet shell over shell and here I will crochet the same segments I will make three one two and three yes three right here and then we will continue and here is where we are going to insert the hook and then we will come back and slip and we will start all over again so basically what we are making instead we are filling the spaces we are joining these triangles and we are making rows from here to here to fill this space but well I will continue but see you here to give you a better explanation okay well here in the middle where I told you remember that we made first three segments then in the next row we will have only two then in the next row three so we will have one row with three one row with two and like this is how we are going to alternate because remember that this will be the strap okay so we don't want to increase more i hope that everything is clear so far i know that it's a little bit confused but i hope i'm doing my best so i hope that this is clear but well what i'm going to do now is that i'm going to crochet until here then i will sleep and start all over again i will make more rows and i will show you well, I arrived till the end and this is where I sleep, as you could see, as you could tell here. And well, here at the end I finished and I started in the same space. I wanted to make one row more so it can look better because look, here from this space is where the strap will be, okay, and it will go up. So what I made here, I will repeat it in the other side too, right here so then I will have these two pieces here and then I will join the strap with the other side right well the same that we crochet here we are going to make it in the other side so here is where I sleep right here as you could see we have a pleat and well here we made segments together so here we could increase and well here remember that is where I alternate once I have three then two and I finish with two with two segments and well uh, let me count how many rows I made so just for now let me see where I we were finished to make the shells okay let me see so behind I must have the thread where we started so I can start counting so well yes from here two three four five rows so them were the same number of rows that we made here well so I will make the other side and see you there to make the strap well so now we finished now we are going to make the strap we can make all the start the strap and start from here and just join here at the end or just make the half each side and join them in the top so from here from shell to shell this will be the white of our strap right so this will be the corners of her back as you could see the shape of her back looks beautiful so finally right so here we are going to start to make the strap well from here is where we will start right here in the corner so from now on we are only going to make the mesh stitch we want to stop sorry we will stop making shells so we are only going to make segments with three double crochet in each space and no let's make with any chain just right away we will go to the next space and continue making one segment in each space remember one segment is with three double crochet so see you when we arrive to the other corner to here so at the end we will have six six segments right so then turn around and we will go up with 
one, two, three chains, then one chain, and then in the next space, three double crochet. So the first double crochet was for the edge, and then three double crochet in each space. And well, here we are going to alternate the spaces, right? That's why we started like this. And like this is how we are going to continue until we have a long strap. You will decide the long of your strap and we will continue making the mesh stitch. So here we finish, we finish with five segments and we will finish with a last double crochet for the edge. You see? And with one chain between and it will be the same like we started, remember? So again we will go up with three chains and now we are going to start making this segment. Remember that we are going to alternate the rows. So once we are going to make five, we will have six. And like this is how we are going to alternate until we get the long of the strap that we want. And in the other side, you are going to sew, okay? So see you there to teach you what's next. And look, I finished to make the rows that I needed and I crochet this part a little bit tight and then I make one row with craft stitch. I will show you what I made here in this side and here I just sew in the other side and this is what I have. I will measure it so the half of my strap measured 30 centimeters, okay? So in total will be 60 centimeters. So look, this is what I finished making, I make this craft stitch all around and we'll also remember that you will decide the length of your strap. I made 30 centimeters, I mean 60 centimeters, but you can make it shorter. And here I made single crochet, but you can sew it too. But here what I made at the end, I made craft stitch. I will show you in case you don't know this stitch, don't worry. So here I will start. Well, the crab stitch is like the single crochet but backwards. So we are going to make one in each space. Okay, like this. So I'm going to make the same stitch in, I mean, all around. And please here be careful, try not to skip too many spaces because then the shape will distort and also try to make this part not too tight, okay? To keep with the shape of our, um, sorry, of our bag. So here is where I finish, I will hide all the threads that I have. I will iron with steam, you remember, using a protection under. And well, now let's see how it looks. Well, so thank you so much for arriving till the end of the video. I hope that you like it and please, if you make it, take a picture and tag me. You can make in different combinations, in different size and for all your family, right? And now that Christmas is coming, you can make this for a gift. Well, I hope that you are subscribed, that you give me a like and don't forget to leave me a comment if you want. Thank you so much and see you in the coming video. This is the end of the second part. Thank you, take care, bye.